Salmon Friends is brought to you by Esco. I'm honored to be in the studio with two very distinguished NBC newsmen, and I'm going to chat with them a few minutes to learn something of their off-camera personalities. You know how when a newsman is giving his news, he's so self-controlled and precise? Well, we want these two guys just to relax and enjoy a couple moments of pleasant conversation. Here first we have... Chad Huntley, NBC News, New York. Yes, indeed, but let's not be quite so formal. Why don't you just call me Kermit, and I'll call you, uh, uh, well, what would you like me to call you? Chad Huntley. Oh, okay, Chad Huntley. Tell me, as a newsman, you're in a position to evaluate all the news and wire services. What do you think is the very best news service? NBC News. Oh, is that right? You like NBC News best? Any particular NBC News office? Washington? Los Angeles? New York. Uh-huh. Well, I guess that figures you work in there and all. One last question, Chet. I'm sure you're familiar with our show, Sam and Friends, in Washington, D.C. Uh, I wonder who your favorite character is. Sam? York? Me? Harry? York. You say York. Gee, that's nice. Well, I'll be sure to tell him, and thank you very much for being our guest. Our next guest, I'm sure you all know, but I'll let him introduce himself. David Brinkley, NBC News, Washington. You know, I bet some of the smart alecks in the audience have already figured out what you're going to say when I talk to you. But never mind them. Just relax and be yourself, you know. First, let's talk about all-time great newsmen. Now, if you were to name the best newsmen you know, I guess you'd name Edward R. Murrow, Morgan Beatty, Lowell Thomas. And David Brinkley. Yes, of course. And then there's Frank Blair and Richard Harkness and... Chad Hartley. All right, Chad, we've finished with you. We're talking to Dave now. You know, Dave, NBC has such a great news staff, but CBS does a good job, too. Uh, where do you suppose they get all their news tips? NBC News. Well, I see the two fellows that have a high opinion of NBC News are Chet Huntley and David Brinkley. Brinkley. David Brinkley. Oh, yes, I meant Brinkley. Now then, one last question of a political nature. Thinking in terms of the 1964 presidential race, who do you think will be elected? You know, what's the first name for president that comes into your head? Washington. Ho, ho. Always a snappy and humorous reply from David Brinkley. Brinkley? Yes, of course, Brinkley. This has been an interview of Chet Huntley and David Brinkley, and this program has come to you from... NBC News, New York. No, no, this program is coming from... NBC News, Washington. New York. Washington. New York. Washington. Oh, let's not fight, fellas. The program is coming to you from... Washington. Right. <laughs> Introducing the new... Hold it. Wait a minute. You can't come shouting in here. We're on the air. Blast off. I've got news that's too hot to keep. Ladies! Hold it. Look, Professor, I'm a patient man, but what could be important enough to shout about? All this confusion could cost us our jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll try to remain calm as I tell you about the new SK idea in flavor. It's the new SK pork and bacon sausage. It combines the wonderful taste of pure pork sausage with the delicious flavor of hickory smoked quality bacon. Well, why don't you say so sooner? Pork and bacon is a brand new flavor for tasty breakfast, and it cooks to a tender, meaty richness every time. The people over at SK make it fresh every day. Uh, get some new SK pork and bacon sausage soon. Today! Remember, with SK quality meats, you can taste the difference quality makes. <laughs> Salmon Friends has been brought to you by SK.